New World and the extreme grind that is simply leveling in this game is pretty incredible. I've been playing this game most days since its launch without properly killing myself to play it every minute forever like the champions that are nearing 60 or those who have even hit it now. Not that there's much waiting for them at the end game. And while I've only just hit level 40, I have learned a lot through the leveling experience and what big mistakes you can make that are going to really slow down your progress. Honestly, it's all quite simple, especially when you know it, but the mistakes can easily be made. This is my no BS to the point efficient leveling guide for New World 1.0. I'm not going to waste your time and spend like five minutes explaining what a side quest is. We all know that New World has basically three quests in it. Go kill X enemy or enemies, search chests in that area, or bring me X materials. What matters is the ones that give you the most XP in relation to the time spent. The most XP per quest are any and all main story quests. Main story quests offer you two or even three times the amount of the side quests, and even four times the amount of a faction mission or say a town project. Side quests are actually the next highest amount of XP per quest though, roughly one third of the XP of a main quest. Meanwhile, every other quest type will offer much less XP and should only really be considered if they're near a main quest or near a side quest. Therefore, to effectively level, you must follow your main quest until it over levels you. And while doing that, pick up every side quest of that region and complete the ones that are near the main quest. If there are blue quests in the form of town ball quests or faction quests, very close to the main or side quests, on the direct way to those, or even in the same area, do those too. The mistake I made, and many players have made, is not realizing how much of a waste of time just farming out blue quests actually is, when you have side quests or main quests available right then. Why is it so important that you get the things that reward the most XP as soon as possible? Because you want to over level everything you're fighting. The faster you are even one level above the enemies you're fighting now, the less damage you take and the more you do, speeding up the process of every single quest you're doing. You should never be fighting mobs that are over leveling you if you can ever help it because it's a huge waste of time. Everything takes longer for no relevant benefit. Finally, town project quests have you go gather materials or refine materials. We can either basically convert gold to XP by buying these on the market or gather and refine these ourselves. Refining materials does actually give you a nice burst of XP on top of handing these quests in. So being aware of what materials you need to gather on your current route in your current area will also add to how much XP you come back with. So plan your route, hit the main quest ASAP, buff out the route with side quests and blue quests on the way, and never play in an area you're too low level for. Just come back later. That is the main gist of it, but there are vital things to know when it comes to, say, increasing the XP you're gaining for these things and the filler XP sections that undoubtedly exist in New World right now. One of these is, of course, portal farming when you've got your first Azov staff and beyond, but we'll cover that soon. Let's start first first with how to increase the XP you're earning. There are a few ways to increase the XP, and knowing about them gives you a huge advantage over those who don't. First up, obviously, rested XP. If you log off in a settlement, you will return later with rested XP, which will be displayed as sort of faded bars to fill in. Rested XP is a whopping 100% increase to XP earned that is double the XP you receive. Rested leveling is therefore insanely fast compared to a non-rested leveler, so you should never log out unless you're in a settlement. If you were to take even a day break from the game, the first level when you back will be much faster. Next, and more consistent and not really limited by playtime, is territory standing XP. XP. You see, when you increase your standing with that region through questing, exploration, or doing most anything in that zone, that'll level up. Each time it levels up, you're offered a choice of cards to make you more effective in that zone. And one of these cards that's going to pop up will be roughly 3% increased XP while in that zone. These are offered again and again, reducing the effect slightly each time you pick it up again. But you can easily earn like 10% more XP by picking these whenever they're available, permanently increasing the XP you earn by an important amount while in that zone. Thirdly, you can get 10% more XP earned by just being flagged for PvP, and that's obviously a huge benefit and well worth it if you are not dying because you're actually engaging in PvP or just being flagged and getting killed. In the first week of New World, this has been incredible for me, right? I got into lots of fights, won the majority of PvP encounters, and it was really fun. You also get loot from the kills, and you get good weapon XP on top. However, after that first week ended, I started to meet more and more gank squads and 
mega grinders who were 15 or 20 levels higher than me who destroyed me in a second. Of course, making it much harder to get value from actually being flagged. So ultimately, you must use your own discretion. If you're playing when it's quiet or you're not in a high pop area, being flagged is absolutely worth it. It's more XP. But if you are dying because you are flagged, it's going to be much, much slower. So don't flag in those scenarios. Lastly, as I mentioned earlier, you're definitely going to want to gather specific materials for town project quests. That means mining, skinning, and so on. To increase the speed at which you gather, you should be using proficiency potions. We can actually use these right away, and they can be crafted or bought on the market, and you can buy more effective proficiency potions as well. They're pretty damn cheap, and they're going to speed up your leveling when you're doing town project quests, so they're worth it. So that's the strategy. That's how you maximize the XP you're being rewarded. But what happens when you're too low level for the main quest now? Because yeah, it's gonna happen and it happens a few times these sections in leveling are called filler xp sections they're a nightmare really they just add to the grind even more many zones will suggest x to x level before you go to them but they're not really accurate they may have a few quests that are the lower level range mentioned but most are going to be on the higher end so if you go there before you're ready you get destroyed and it's way slower leveling if your main quest has you going somewhere that you're under leveled for you should not go there until you're equal or higher level this is is when you must fill a XP grind. Your first experience with this will happen around level 25 to 29, which is also when the first dungeon is available. Many players simply grind out that Amrain Expedition dungeon during that period, and that's a fine strategy. But what's going to happen when you hit the next filler section at levels 37 to 43? Or maybe the 52 to 55 one? Well, you have a few options. Dungeon grinding of the most recent dungeon, the highest level dungeon you can be doing, corrupted portal farming, or doing side quests and blue quests. And that's basically it. If you're at the right level for a dungeon to grind, well, that's a good option. Or you should farm portals. Portals are actually an incredible source of XP and they give you weapon XP as well. So if you want to do the portal runs, you can try find a group in the chat for one that's near you, right? But what many players actually do is form portal farming groups. These groups will just go from region to region, farming every portal they can. Since the mobs here are elites, they will provide you with that great weapon XP. And then when you complete the portal run, you'll be given a burst of XP. Plus the higher level your weapon, the faster you're going to kill things. So it's actually something to consider as something to do while leveling whenever possible, even before you hit a filler XP portion. But if you cannot find a group for a dungeon or portals, it's unfortunately time to just spam out side quests and blue quests, which is kind of a slow option. Fortunately, filler XP will only happen a few times in leveling. When it does, it is going to be a real grind. You need to know what you're doing. In conclusion, then, you want to double up or triple up on your blue quests, your side quests and gathering quests while focusing main story quests. Make sure you're increasing the XP you earn through the methods I've explained and never try to level in an area that you're under leveled for. If you have to, complete your filler XP sections through dungeons, portal farming, or generic questing until you're ready to move forward. I do hope this helped you in some way and maybe you will not make the mistakes that I did where I ended up farming blue quests for like three levels, which was much, much slower. If you have any extra tips for leveling players that maybe I've not mentioned in this video, then be sure to drop that in the comments since you know you might help someone. Until next time then i've been hollow you've been you thanks for watching josh cotton and hollow with the videos dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment yes i said entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye